Welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. Excuse me, and we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow, where we dye yarn and make bags. And we are drinking water. Ice water. We've just been dying. Ice, ice baby. <laughs> yeah, no, we just finished dying, so. Doing, doing water. Claire, we had our smoothie this morning, though, so. Yeah. There's that. <laughs> um, <laughs> We want to say a huge thank you to Lori. She sent us tea from her local tea shop. It's so These cool. are the greatest things. There, it's Casting Whimsy is the name of the tea shop. Which okay, and they're all at the name right. Casting Whimsy. Yeah, that's amazing. And De Milo, and it is uh, organic fair trade black tea, organic cornflour, organic calendula petals, and natural passion fruit flavor. Divine. This is Percy. It's fair trade green tea, ginger root, lemon peel, and pomegranate flavors. So, and all organic. And then this is Dreamy, which is fair trade rubus, uh, orange peel, vanilla extract, and orange flavor, all organic. So, we are very excited to yes. uh, try these. And they come in fantastic little tins. I love yeah. little. The, the tins, tins, when we're done, will be perfect for stitch markers. Oh, yeah. Or, um, Pins for when you're at, um, if you put a magnet on the bottom, oh, yeah, and then you put your pins in it oh, okay. when you're at the sewing machine, that would be good too. Yeah, so, um, so thank you, Lori, very, very much. Thank you. Yeah, I really have this thing for little boxes and stuff. I just love little them. things. Yeah. I know, I just love the little things. So. All right, it's all graceful. I would agree with that, except it goes way back, <laughs> way before we met Ray. Um, all right, do you want to do questions and comments? Sure. I'm just going to point out that I found a um, eyeglass fixer kit this morning, and somebody still point out has that her safety pin in. She's gotten attached to, die to her safety this pin. Morning. <laughs> She chose to, you know, do her job as opposed uh, to spend hours putting glasses together. Okay. Okay, so Darcy Tonson says she now she really needs to make a ripple crop top for back to school. She has a chambray skirt, which would be perfect. Yeah. Um, and what yarn would look good with it? I love the variegated yarns. I think any of the variegated. Yeah, I really think really, really any, pretty. Any of the variegated, like Christmas, like Hogwarts would look great. Um, Darcy, hold, stay tuned, because we're going to show you one that I think is going to look gorgeous. Yes. Yes, both Absolutely of both gorgeous. Of so, so yeah, um, our new yarns I think are going to be beautiful with it. Yeah. Okay, D says, uh, oh, those new colors are wonderful. I can't wait to see your knitting projects finished. The colors you chose are so pretty. Do you corroborate with each other on all the color choices, or do you sometimes dye something as a surprise to each other? Since we're usually dyeing together down yeah. there, for the most part, we... Um, we corroborate. We, we um, plan it out before we head down. So, uh, yeah, we plan them together. Lots of people are saying how much they like the Little Mermaid colors, so thank you very much. Um, we just finished dying more of those. Yes, so thank we you to everybody who's buying them. Yes, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you to everybody who's buying them. Thank you to everyone who is buying them. Amy Mickelson says, beautiful, beautiful knitting. Love the patterns and colors you're choosing. I'm going to have to check out the Ripple Tea, though on me it would be more of a rumple. <laughs> okay. That was I'm a concern really, of ours. Really kind of hoping it's not going to be like a sausage so, casing, but I think it's going to be Yeah, okay. we're hoping for some positive ease. That may be Instacart. I know. Mary Thompson says, yay to the winners. Have a great uh, 4th of July and safe travels. And wants to know where we got the buttermint tea from. Um, I usually get it from the supermarket. It's Twinings buttermint tea. Um, and when I can't find it at the supermarket, I order it on Amazon. So if you go to Amazon's and search Twinings buttermint tea, uh, you usually buy them in a case from Amazon. So, uh, so Jean uh, KD says, hello ladies. She wants to make the V-back tea by Jamie Hoffman. And yeah, now so do we. I don't. Um, and will acorn will the acorn crocus dear reader um, collection work? And that was a picture that I had used at the beginning of the podcast yesterday. And yes, yes, I think it's it gonna would. Be gorgeous, it would be beautiful. So um, now I'm going to have to go figure out my colors for the V back tea. Maybe I'll make the V back tea instead of the ripple. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you could do that. So 
All right. So that should do it for uh, questions and comments. Thank you very much, guys. Yeah, thank you. All right. Uh, we will be doing another yarn pairing next week because tomorrow we're doing the book. Yeah, it's a busy week that we're doing a lot of right. stuff. So tomorrow we're going to talk about the... Maybe Saturday. We'll do it Saturday. Oh, right. Uh, tomorrow we're going to have our book discussion on The Keeper of Lost Things by Ruth Hogan. And, and, and show you the new yarn collection that goes with it. And we have a new mini collection that's uh, apart from that that we're going to do. So today we have the mystery yarns that were sent out for the July Triwizard Challenge. Um, and uh, so if you did not get yours yet, because I know there's at least one person who hasn't gotten hers yet, look away. Yes, hide your eyes. You will know the name of it because there are two. Right. Um, so you'll know the names, but you know, won't know which one you got and what the colors are until... Unless you don't look away. Right. But you still won't know which one you got. Look away. Look away. Okay. Ready? Okay. So first uh, was... What we did was um, we went back through our dye book and we picked colors that we had dyed before and read our cryptic notes because these go way way back to see one day we're going to read you the notes from our <laughs> side books so you can see what it was like between then and now yeah because now it's just you know throw red but <laughs> actually it's not it's not that at all but go ahead um so uh one of them was uh fairly popular yeah when we did it and i think it looks a little bit it, it's a little different just because our dyeing techniques have changed um so we brought back fairy mouse so this was one of the mystery colors that went out. It's pinks and browns and I think it's you're one of my totally underestimating the favorite whole, colors. you know, it was a little popular. It was, really popular. It was pretty popular. Yeah. I don't, I'm trying to figure out why we didn't continue it. I don't know. Yeah. So, we went on to something else and yeah, it wasn't moved. part of a collection. So we right. were moving collections forward and it was it was a uh, by itself. So we're just going to have to fit it into a collection. Yeah. So this is Fairy Mouse. It looks fairly close to uh, its original, but a little bit different just because our dyeing techniques have changed, just because the next one looks completely different. <laughs> However, I like this one so, oh, much, so better. much better. And then there was one that we did that didn't work and we didn't send it out. Um, but uh, so Fairy Mouse. These will be available in tomorrow's update uh, on all bases. And there you go. Okay. So this originally started as Sea Witch, and we had this a couple of years ago, and people did like it, um, but this one is so much better. Yeah, so much better. So now we're calling it Ursula. Which fit in very well with The Little Mermaid. Right. But this is Ursula. So this was Ursula. So Kathy, tomorrow's update, Ursula will be available. Kathy's good friend got Ursula, and she sent me a message saying, I need that. She said um, her friend was opening it when they were FaceTiming each other, and so she watched her friend open the package, and she's like, oh my god, I need to have some of that. So, so tomorrow, Teresa, update. when you asked us a question as to what was <laughs> We the weren't ignoring you. What was the yarn that was over my shoulder with the uh, pinks and uh, blues and things? Right. That is it. So when I was editing that podcast, I'm like, huh. That's the mystery yarn right behind my best shoulder, and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get away with it. Somebody's going to ask for <laughs> it. So, um, but yes, that is Ursula, and then Fairy Mouse, and they actually look very nice together. Yes, they do. Um, However, Jean, or no, um, for the ripple top, for the ripple top, Ursula, this is going to be stunning. Yeah. If you like the bright colors, this is going to be gorgeous. And if you're a pink and brown type of person, right. that one is going to be beautiful. Yeah. So, I cannot wait to see people's uh, mitts in these. Yeah. So, all right. Tomorrow's update. A couple of available. people are already done their mitts. Overachievers. Okay. <laughs> be that way. So one of them, uh, she was on. She had a whole day of conference calls. So she's just. To sat in it because she was doing oh, her fantastic. zoom calls and yeah. stuff that's fantastic oh. yeah. um all right well mine are pretty much in the same spot they were when the last time i showed them because it was very hot and buggy yesterday and i did not want to touch that to dk yarn it's just not into touching that um okay so for the um try wizarding tournament we have some prizes to give away okay Tina has donated masks, 
that have knitting sheep and crocheting sheep on them and um, the bag that we're going to show and then we also got our knit crate so we are going to include that as one of the giveaways as well right. so we have four different prize winners all right so cheryl anderson you get a sheep mask it comes with all the instructions it's got um a filter that you can put in if you want so that um and it's got uh, the ties so you tie it to the back of your head tie it to the back of your head or tie it around the back of your <laughs> right. head um so cheryl get in touch with us toadhollownj at gmail.com karen vardo also gets a mask so, Karen, um, get in touch with us. Katrina, I picked your name and this is so perfect because <laughs> Katrina's um, Ravelry name is Cow Crochet and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> the stars align for this one. So Katrina, you get the 2020 COVID hair bag. Um, it's a nice canvas tote bag. Yeah. So that is for you and then Thank you very much, Tina, for the uh, contributions. Oh, thank you, Tina, because we still have more. There's still more in the yeah. box. Um, this month's knit crate is two skeins of um, Audine Wool's Interlock. And the color pigment? The color is pigment. And it is 34% um, cotton, 35% linen, 19% lyocell, and 11% nylon. 351 yards so, so it's for sport linen, weight it's got a nice uh, feel to it yeah it's really very very nice yeah bright orange so Shelly Eret who is squirrel girl on um, Ravelry you are the winner of the orange yarn so get in touch with us please everybody toad hollow nj at gmail.com send us an email with your address and we will send these out to you yep okay all right we are waiting for our Instacart order, and we just want to make They're sure we're not missing. frozen elements, so we do not want yeah. to sitting out in the front porch. We, do, we want to make sure we're not missing any communication. Yeah. Okay, and now the ice cream truck. Anybody? Ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, so today we thought we'd show you some of the stitching we've been doing. Right. Do you want to go first since you have two and I only have one? Oh, sure. Um, I have been working on my Suffragette by Little House Needleworks. So that's that. I'm doing it on 32 counts linen that I got from Color and Cotton when we were part of their fabric club. And that's all for you. So I completed the column with all of uh, the vines and everything, and now I am starting her and her dress. And I love the bottom of her dress with the, the red, white, and blue bottom. I just think that's so pretty. So, I'm gonna weigh it that. Very and cool. I, I really, really enjoy it. I have started my Stitch for Sweet Freedom which is by Lindy Stitches. And you really come along. I am doing mine on um, 18 count Ada. So that's where I am so far. I'm enjoying this a lot. She is just so pretty. She is. She's got a flower in her hair and everything. And I'm almost to the part where um, I'm coming down her arm, and then she's going to be holding the flag draped okay. across the front of her. And I love the collar. Yes. I always love that collar. I know, and it, uh, Lindy um, did such a great job yeah. getting it with just little X's. You know, it's just, it's fantastic. And the buttons for her dress. Yeah. It's very, very pretty. So she's got a red top, and then she's got a blue um, skirt. So I, I'm continuing along, but I love this. Yeah. It's a lot of, I'm, I'm really, it's just, it's a very nice... Easy, quiet stitch. stitch. Yeah. yeah. So while I wait for um, all my Hade stuff to arrive, I am doing the dance uh, from Stitch Rovia. She's Stitch Rovia on Etsy. I was just, we went into Etsy to find it, and I'm finding all these other ones that I'm showing Helen, and it took like 
three or four minutes <laughs> to actually get it because <laughs> kept showing her all the ones that I want to get. Distracted. So um, I'm really moving along on this one. Okay. But I'm She's starting to get that front, banner, front banner, the top banner done that says dance. Um, and I God. love the letters. They're so pretty. Yeah. I just love the, the typography of it. And using the blue underneath the crossbars of the E really makes it look like it's popping out. Exactly. It gives yeah. it the shadow and It gives it like yeah. a three-dimensional look. Oh, definitely. Uh, so I'm really, really thrilled with this one. It's perfect. Yeah. So that's so cool. Very, very cool. Yeah, and I'm doing this on uh, 18 count oatmeal Ada. I'm very pleased. The people across the street are not walking their dog. I love the dog. Yes. Our dog's name that. He's a great Pyrenees. He's beautiful. beautiful, beautiful dog. Okay, you ready? Yes. I think we are finished for today. Yes. We have to go eat. Because once surprisingly enough. This, you have to feed me. <laughs> starving. Honestly, either it's high and humid or feed me. <laughs> <laughs> or both. We are going to sign off, but tomorrow we are having a book review. We're having a shop update. We're having um, lots of new yarn to show and a shop update at 5 o'clock tomorrow night. Yep. Okay, so we will see you tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody. Enjoy. Bye.